Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Murder by Numbers. Thanks for tuning in. So we just found a PDA, but Scout doesn't have the right cable. I guess it belong- I mean, it would make sense if it belonged to, you know, the guy chilling in the background there. So, I don't know, let's see what we can do about this. Got it. Well, let me know if you see one around here. Are we gonna scan for it? Scan for the cable? I think we- he should be. I think we found everything we can in here, at least while Cross is watching, because, you know, we are supposed to be in here to get at my mother's bag. A password-protected PDA and a medallion? Is that enough to crack the case? I don't know about the PDA, but the medallion definitely raises some interesting questions. If Dick doesn't drink alcohol... Then the whiskey and the hip flask it was spilled from is a direct link to the killer! And I think we have a pretty good idea of who it belongs to. It's gonna... It's gonna flip our expectations again, isn't it? Because, like, last time looking back on the case, it was, like, like really heavily pushing you towards um, John, right? Especially right at that moment where we had to raise the accusation. It's like, excuse me, I just ate a bunch of stuff. Um, the momentum was building up right at that moment that you just, you just found all this evidence against him. So you're like, okay, I have to accuse him. But then he didn't end up being the right person. So I'm, like, not sure if it actually branches or if, like, they... It's the thing where they, they give you the illusion of choice, but it actually forces you to ha go into one path. I don't know. I won't know unless you know, one of you tries it and tries a different answer. Who knows? But yeah, so we'll see. Because like the, uh, the, the evidence here is all pointing towards Bobby Price, but I almost kind of feel like it's not him. But well, that's what this is the question they're asking. So I have to answer it. What, what they're assuming. Bobby Price. What are you two yammering about? I don't mind you looking for your mom's bag, but can't you do it quietly? We, uh... <clears throat> we just found it, actually. We'll get out of your hair. Enjoy your paperwork, detective! Bye! I love doing paperwork next to a dead body. It's incredible. She's so much like him. Oh, he knew our father! Aww... What's up, man? I guess we're about to pin you down. You look like you've lost something. Need any help? Whoa! Oh, hi! Lost something? No, no, nothing. Are you sure? I can find anything. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. I'm just uh, trying to find the men's room. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't looking for anything. <laughs> I guess I did. Anyway, uh, I'll just be, you know, on my way, running off. See you later, inching away, scooting, scooting. Bootin? Well, that was weird. Well, oh, oh. Even though he scooted away, we still get to chase him down. Um. Hmm. Mm? You told us that hip flask was Dick's, but he hasn't had a drink for over 40 years. What? Well, then it must belong to somebody else. What about that Ryan guy? You can't pin this on me. I didn't do anything. Mm hmm. I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Huh. Well, now what? Uh, he's our main suspect, so what can we do now? Hmm, guess we got more to say. You know, I get the feeling Bobby was re uh, really was looking for something. Do you think there's evidence hidden here? Doesn't hurt to take a look around. Something else? Something else besides the things we'd already found. Really? Okay. Uh, ooh, whoop. Something else, huh? Oh. This puzzle is a little bit smaller. Let's see, three x one x one two or one two x one x one two three. Boom. Something I was pretty happy about is that um, I tried to introduce both Minji and Paper to Picross at separate times, and um, you know they didn't really know much about it or had previous experience, so uh, I didn't blame them if they didn't want to pursue it afterwards. But I just talked with Paper earlier today and told uh, was talking to her about how I do Picross on Luna Story, you know, sometimes in my off time when I want to make it kind of helps me fall asleep. And she was like, "Really? That kind of thing would keep me up." Like, cause she, and she was saying like the one night after I had introduced it to her, she had stayed up and like played some puzzles for like a really long time. Like she spent a really long time on them and she seemed pretty invested and that made me happy. So <laughs> anyways, I hope that by the point this uh, episode has come out, uh, I, I, I encouraged her to try Murder by Numbers if she wanted to. So, uh, or Mur uh, Luna story. So I hope by this point, maybe she's got more into it. That'd be nice. <laughs> Same with y'all. Okay. Same with y'all, please. I need more people to play pick cross. Okay, one, two, X, one, two, three. So, okay, that's pretty good. One, two, three, X, one, two, X, one, two. I believe that should be correct. 
Uh, that means that one, two, three, four, X. Like, I think nothing should be here because two can only go one up or down and four can only go as far down as that. Meaning I can at least fill this in, I believe. Cool, nice, sweet man. Totally into it, totally into it. Okay, uh, what else we got? Uh, the two has to be up here, two has to be up here. Whoop, <laughs> I love when I misalign my mouse. It's kind of hard to go in a straight line. It's like when they draw, uh, expect me to draw stuff or do things with the mouse in certain games. I just can't, it always goes like <laughs> Just weeble wobbles away, I, I can't do it, man. Um, the people who can do really precise stuff with the mouse really blow my mind. Like, um, I don't know if y'all know, uh, Elite Beat Agent slash Tatakae Oendan, which was the Japanese version, slash Os, which was like the online version that people made. Anyways, um, with Os, you can like, it's, you know, it's just a bunch of beats you you click and hold across the screen and uh, people do it with their mouse and the uh, hyper fast ones, I believe, they just use the mouse as like a pointer and then they click a button on their keyboard in order to do the inputs rather than actually clicking with the mouse. I guess because it's more efficient that way. I can see why that would be the case. And it's just insane. I have some friends who are absolutely bonkers with that stuff and I just I just don't have the motor control or precision. I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, anyways, one X, one, two, three, four four or one two three four yeah i ain't a mouse kind of gal i can't do much with it <laughs> i believe yeah that looks like a good orientation okay doesn't help us solve too much down here at the moment okay that means the three two one have to be segmented like this so i'm pretty sure at the very least we can fill all this in great wait okay that's not that's not a thing i gotta do Mm, okay, okay, okay. Where else have we got some big money, big clues? One, two, X, one, two, three, or one, two, three, X, one, two. Okay, so that doesn't even, I mean, I wasn't when expecting five to go all the way across, but you never know. We found something out there. Uh, two has to be down here, so that's solved. Oh, this is a two that's already filled in. This is also a two that's already filled in, great. Okay, one goes there for sure. Okay, we can cross all this out. Mm. What's my next move? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, yes. That was, oh, I was like thinking about what I was singing. Um, he, this, this guy y'all probably know cause he's a huge internet, huge YouTube guy. But Ryan Higa, who'd been around for a while, um, yeah, I don't think he's been as active lately, which is totally fine. I'm, I'm happy if he's happy doing whatever he's pursuing. I think he's like streaming or something. I'm not really sure. But anyways, um, they did this uh, this parody of K-pop boy bands, and he did that with his friends, and it was really funny. It was really funny. I loved it. I, I'm not a, I'm not super huge on K-pop, so I don't know too much about it. Uh, but I know like little bits and pieces of the culture that I see around, and just. It was a funny parody. I really liked it. That was their song. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Uh, something, something. Leave the left, left. Leave the rest to bleed. I was like tr struggling to get the words out. I was like, what were the lyrics? <laughs> it's pretty catchy. Anyways, um, I'm like pretty dang stuck because while I'm blabbing, my eyes are still darting around. And there we go. That was <laughs> that was the one thing I could figure out from there. I was like, well, I don't see the next step. I don't see the next clue. Uh, okay, oopsie, three has to be here. That's crossed off, that's there. This is all done. And lastly, here and here. Nice. What on earth is that? Sneakers. Okay, okay, sure, sure, handkerchief. Yeah, all right. Rank up, rank C. Not yet, okay, not yet. All right, that's cool. A silk handkerchief, that's weird and kind of gross. Is it filled with snot like I am? <laughs> Perhaps Bobby dropped it when he left? Maybe. He doesn't strike me as the silk handkerchief type. I didn't start carrying around a handkerchief until like last year or the year before. It was because when I when I went to Japan, um everybody there like oh god it's so cute like everybody there uses handkerchiefs and um i like it because then i don't have to waste paper towels i'm like oh you know they're really smart like whenever i go to like a public restaurant or store whatever the heck um now i can just pull out a really cute handkerchief and just wipe with it and it's it's great and i, I save uh uh one 
paper towel. I was going to say toilet paper. I was like, what's the word for the thing you use for your hands? Paper towel. Um, yeah, and they have so many cute designs. I bought a couple different ones. I think a lot of them are like teal and white or teal and yellow with like little birds on it. Or what was my other one? I don't know. They're super cute. I like handkerchiefs. They're cute. Um, what do these embroidered letters indicate? Uh, bro embroidered letters indicate, don't sneeze? DS? <laughs> DS? Scout, this must belong to Dick Stanford, or it's the Nintendo DS. But Dick died in his dressing room. What's his handkerchief doing here? <laughs> and why does it smell like whiskey? This time when I sniffed, my nose wasn't full of snot. That's because I just did the nasal rinse earlier. <laughs> Y'all like how much I talk about my nose and snot? That's because it's a major affliction for me right now. It's important, okay? <laughs> if you're getting grossed out too bad, you should expect this kind of thing when you're watching my show, okay? Wait, uh, so am I presenting this to you? I would assume so. Ah, he's very surprised. Where'd you get that? We found it in the main hall, right where you were standing earlier. <laughs> it's not mine! I know. The monogram says it was Dick's. That's great! I, I mean, th that's great detective work. The weird thing is, it smells of whiskey. M maybe he liked the smell? Scout, would you join me in the dressing room for a second? Why, Honor? Ah, just do it! Y yes let's go! What are we doing? What are we discussing? Why are we doing a team meeting on the side? But bye then? You better run. Better run, Bobby Price. Hey, what's up, man? Are you ever going to let me finish this damn report next to this rotting corpse? You don't need to. We've got all the evidence you need. I'm scared that our accusation isn't going to be right this time. You've been investigating? Do you even realize how much danger you're putting yourself in? There's a strangler out there! I know. And we think it's Bobby Price. He wanted revenge on Dick for sabotaging his TV career. Dick hated him for taking over, uh, to wrong person. Every time I see a, a sprite change, I think they're the one talking, because that's normally how it is. Dick hated him for taking over Backtalk. He used his influence to attack Bobby in the press. Bobby's ratings hit rock bottom. He's on the verge of cancellation. And tonight, Bobby had to sit and watch as the, gu as the guy who was ruining his career got a Lifetime Achievement Award. That pushed him over the edge. He waited backstage for Dick to go back to his dressing room, and then he strangled him. It's a nice theory, but the only thing tying Bobby to the room is that hip flask, and he says it belongs to Dick. That's where our new evidence comes in. Handkerchief and PDA. PDA and metal medallion. Medallion and handkerchief. Medallion and handkerchief, because we don't know what's on the PDA yet. I'm pretty sure. Was that right? Was that wrong? We found Dick's sobri sobri sobriety. Excuse me. Surprise sobriety is what it is. Sobriety. Sobriety medallion. He's been sober for over 40 years. Which means Bobby was lying. The hip flask is his. A sobriety medallion. Where in the hell did you find that? In here, detective. Wait, in here? You said you were looking for a handbag. Ah, uh, Scout. Yes, Scout, we did say that. In fact, you did. It's not about who found what. It's about coming to the right conclusions, is another TV quote. What a load of crap. Where'd you learn that? Amateur Detective Monthly or Casablanca? You, sa you said it earlier this evening. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Oh, I, I well, you can't just, just, I can't believe I'm getting outsmarted by a toaster oven. Which brings me to the issue of Dick's handkerchief. When we found Bobby backstage, he was clearly looking for something. So we had a look in the main hall around where Bobby had just been. And we found a silk handkerchief that wasn't there earlier. <laughs> that thing stinks of booze, ugh. I think something happened to make Bobby nervous. Really nervous. So nervous, he needed a drink to calm his nerves. You think he killed Dick? He has the means, the motive, and the opportunity. But he wasn't prepared for how it would affect him. He was shaking so bad, he dropped his hip flask. And what about the handkerchief? He just killed Dick and spilled his drink everywhere. He was desperate to clean up the evidence and get out before anyone found him. So we grabbed the nearest piece of cloth and used it to mop up the spill and the fingerprints on the doorknob as he left. I'll be damned. It all fits. Not bad for an amateur, huh? If it wasn't for this goddamn report, I... Oh, to hell with the paperwork. I think it's about time I had a chat with Bobby Price. But don't start congratulating yourself just yet, Ms. Rocky. This isn't over. Look at us. We're looking so satisfied, so smug. So, that's the evidence against you. Anything to say for yourself? 
I, I didn't mean to do it! I just wanted to talk to him! You call that talking? I'm guessing you didn't like his answer. He's just admitting to it? Damn. I didn't get an answer! He came backstage with his award and completely ignored me! Walked straight past like I didn't even exist! I've put up with a lot of his crap since I took over back talk, but that was too much! I busted down his door and... <sighs> but I, I didn't want to kill the guy! I, I just got carried away! I, I swear, I barely touched him! Not knowing your own strength is no defense against murder, Mr. Mr. Price. I'm taking you in by overlapping your sprite! Overshadowing you with my presence. Don't go anywhere, Mizrahi. We still need to, need to talk about this detective hobby of yours. I'm gonna let's hightail it out of here, Scout. Let's get out of here. Where were you? You missed the fireworks. Is Detective Cross still here? No, you just missed him. He left with Bobby. What's up? An urgent package arrived for him. I told the police officer I would give it to Detective Cross personally. And they just let you have it? I told them I'm Detective Cross's new personal assistant. They seemed impressed. <laughs> Scout, I think I preferred you when you didn't know how to lie. What was the delivery? I'm not sure, but it must be important. Oh, okay, of course. I, oh, 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 it, I'm just making random it, 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 it noises now. It always catches me off guard every time a puzzle comes in. I'm just like never expecting it, so it's quite funny. Um, okay, so that should be there. What else? Big numbers, big numbers, big numbers, baby. Uh, this should be one of the top twos, so I think- Oh, okay, great. So that's good to go. Uh, one, two, X, one, two, three, or one, two, three, X, one, two. Okay, that does not overlap there. What else we got? Big numbers. Uh, any more big numbers? Yes, here feeling big numbers. Thank you. Four, so we got one, two, three, four is the max from there. Right? Therefore, one, two, three, four. That's also the max there. And then one, two, three, four. That's the max there. So I, th I think we can safely cross all those off. Okay. Meaning, I think this one we can then fill in these two. Oh, wait. There's a seven here. I don't even see a seven with me with my big ol' eyes. Look, look with your special eyes. Uh, okay. Wait, what else can we fill in? Uh, there's also two fours here. There's also two fours here. I think the same rules, yes, the same rules should apply because they're literally both in the same thing. So that means I can fill in these ones, I think. Yeah, should same rules should apply. Uh, that means this all shifts over by one. So that gets, get rid of that. I, this has to be part of the four. So that's it there. And then this also shifts over one, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good to go, everybody. It's looking pretty good to go, if you're asking me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Um. Oh my god, I'm like having trouble proceeding. Okay, I just need I just need a break point. I just need, here we go. Here's something. I just need a breaking point of some kind. Uh, two x. So this can't be the two. There's no room for it. So that has to be one of the ones. Uh, where to? One x one two three. So the one and the three could fit here. So we don't know if the three would necessarily go on the other side. Um, um, I am meditating for pick cross. Um, <laughs> wait, I'm like really stuck. Uh. I need something big, man. One X, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, X, one. Yeah, that's, I knew that, and yet I went ahead with it anyways, because I'm a hopeful fool. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's three there, so that would not fit the four. So it has to be that. Great. Okay. Nice, nice, good, good. That was the breakthrough I needed. I uh, one, two, three, four, five. I go too fast. Five, that means I can block those off. I already could anyways, because a five and a two were not gonna fit in there. Uh, I can cross this off safely. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. All this is gone. Goodbye. What else can't fit in here? This can't fit in here. This can't fit in here. Uh, this. Uh, all. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me jumping the gun there. Axis, you're jumping the gun there. But threes can't fit in here anyway. Threes can't fit in there anyways. Uh, so. Uh, this has to be it. Great, great, great. I'm feeling very ex I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Uh, the three could go down here, so that covers that business. What's down here? Yes, 
Yes, great, great. Okay, okay, we're slowly starting to fill everything in. Uh, two goes here, perfect. That goes there. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm. Really quick, going back to talking about handkerchiefs earlier. So like, I started feeling really excited about uh, going out and bringing my bag out places because I started filling it with just really cute, useful stuff. You know me, you know your girl. I love cute, functional items. So like, I really like a lot of like, lifestyle places in Japan because it is it just hits the spot for me. I freaking love that stuff. Um so like I have this um this little bag that looks like a tuna can and uh paper got um a little a little pouch that looks like a match box with a match stick um on the zipper handle from the same place and they just have a lot of like little food stuff that that are bags and it's so cute. Um but I have that, and then I filled it with a bunch of stuff, like a bag hook. It's it's like a it's in the shape of a rose. It's a hook. You, you like open it and put it on the side of a table, and it, there's a hook hanging it, so you can just put your bag there. So if like there's no room on the chairs, or you have to put it on the floor, otherwise the floor is freaking dirty, right? So you can just literally put a bag hook on the table, and then you can hook your bag. I put so much fun, useful stuff in my bag. Um, and like I said earlier, I, I, I didn't really want to waste paper towels. I messed up in this row. Holy crap, how did I mess up that terribly in this row? How did I mess up that badly in this row? Okay, these should be non-existent, but they have to exist because of the way I arranged this. Oh my God. Okay, I might just like silently redo this puzzle uh, off screen real quick, but I just want to finish what I was saying. Um, so. Yeah, and I got like reusable metal straws and look cool. So anyways, I just get excited to go, ooh, a little bag holder, or sorry, bag holder, um, a little drink holder. It's like, it's just this thing you can fold up. It's just a little bag. You just slot your drink in and then you can sling it around your wrists if you don't want to hold it because you're susceptible to the cold like I am. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna uh, go off screen super quick fix the puzzle up to this point and then just finish off the rest. We are at the end of the episode, but I, I just want to finish up the puzzle anyway. So see you soon. I think I'm back at a good point. Um, yeah, or I don't even know what I did earlier. Um, yeah, the the thing was that I I, th I believe it's because I applied the same logic to both of these rows just because they have the same numbers. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. That's probably what messed me up. Anyways, it's fine. I fixed it. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Um, wait, wait. Just kidding. This is a two. We don't know where it is. We don't know. Uh, okay, I'm like a little bit stuck. Um, the one X5 could happen here. Okay, wait, one, two, three, four. Meaning we can cross those off, or one, two, three, four. Meaning we can cross that off. That should help a little bit, right? That means this one has to be here. This one has to be here. Okay, the other one is down here somewhere. Uh, ooh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay, wait. So this chunk could be part of the five. It is part of the five. Okay, it is part of the five, great. Yep. Yep. All right, all right, all right. We're almost there. I'm so glad. Whoopsie. I'm so glad I was able to fix it. I can't um, usually just go backwards one step because I feel like it's too far gone at that point. Like, I feel like I just messed up so far beyond the any point of redemption that it's just... It's impossible, okay? Uh, wait a second. Here and then here. There we go. Okay. What on earth? A lighter. A, li a chocolate bar. What? The, what? What? Huh? What? What? For, for testing whether you drank or not? For testing whether there was alcohol in your system? Huh? <laughs> I am so, okay, well, um, join me next time for more information on what is going on and see, maybe we can see the interrogation between them. Who knows? See you next time. This is Axis, over and out.